Hi everyone, welcome back. During the last few lectures, we finished building the app UI. We've also been able to smoothly switch from the login view to the chat view, and vice versa. In this lecture, we'll build the anonymous login feature. Okay, let's do it. First, get to the project on the Firebase website. This is our project. On the navigation bar on the left, choose Authenticate. Then um, on the top, click the Sign In Method tab. All right. We need to let Firebase know what sign in methods we want to use. Firebase provides several authentication methods. For example, there's um, email and password login, Google login, Facebook login, Twitter login, GitHub login, and anonymous login. In our app, we'll use anonymous and Google login. So first let's Firebase know, no, we want to use anonymous login. Click edit, then enable the method and save. Good. We've already connected Firebase to our app in one of the previous lectures. So now we can use Firebase services for logging users in anonymously. All right, that's a good start. Now, let's go back to our project and start coding. All right, in the login anonymously did tapped function, let's delete the unnecessary comments. They're good for educational purpose, but now we all know how the code works. All right, Swift functions have meaningful names, so these comments are not necessary. They make our code look like clutter. All right, we first need to import the Firebase package offering authentication methods we'll use. So import Firebase. Auth. Actually, we don't have it here. Okay. Firebase is willing to handle authentication data for us, but to use its method to produce this data, we need to install its authentication package. All right. In the pod file, write, hey pod, I'll need... Firebase auth package. All right. Now in terminal, ask pod to install stuff specified in the pod file. Good. Remember to save the pod file before installing stuff. Pod is automatically installing all dependencies we need. Okay, it finished. Now we can go back to the login view controller to import the Firebase auth package. All right, here it is. Firebase auth, okay, we'll anonymously sign in users, then if successful, switch to the chat view. So in the login anonymously did tapped action before the view switching snippet, first from fir auth, fir auth, which is a Firebase class offering authentication methods for Firebase apps, call the class method auth to create an instance for this fir auth class. We can now use this auth object to handle authentication business in our app. For anonymous login, we'll utilize method sign in anonymously with completion of this auth object. You can hold option and click this method to see its definition. It sort of returns an optional anonymous user authenticated, authenticated by Firebase and an optional error. They're optional because like the authentication might fail like due to bad connections or stuff. In that case, the Firebase user is nil and we got a non-nil error object. All right, it returns an optional Firebase user and an optional NS error. NS error. Name this return Firebase user anonymous uh, user and name the NS error error. Now we can use this user and error objects in this closure. First, if success, there's no error, we'll get an FIR user to do stuff we want. Otherwise, we'll get an error. All right, let's print the FIR user to see how they look like. They're Firebase IDs actually, uh, anonymous user. It's an optional, but we know for sure it's not nil because there's no error. So we can unwrap it. Get its ID. Cool. If authentication fails, we get this error instead. This error object is optional, but again, it's not nil in this if branch, so we can unwrap it safely. Also, if we want to know what errors occurred, we can use function localize description to get the string describing the error. Cool. Then let's return, because we don't want to call the rest of this function, like switching views and things like that. All right, and that's it. We'll put things together later. For now, let's just check if we are able to log users in. Okay, here's the app. Let's make the console a bit bigger. Log in anonymously. Great, we got the user ID in the console. Let's check if this user is on Firebase. Click the users tab. Yeah, this user is sitting nicely on Firebase. Great. All right, next time we'll put everything together. See you then.